It's okay, I don't mind. We'll keep going until we get through it, okay? That's what you said to me the first time we made love. See, they're the sort of jokes you can't make in front of my mother. Got it. No problem. Hey, Matthew. Chestnuts roasting on an open... After this whole year, I'm still so much in love with you. I'm still so much in love with you, too. <clears throat> oh, hey, Sheena. How's Emma? Should I go? Uh, no, actually, she's just off on a map. Can you give her half an hour? Sure, sure, no problem. Whatever you need, whatever you want. Oh, look at all this. You brought so much. This here uh, looks... At... What is it? Mince pies. A huge of phyllo pastry. It's like a mince parcel. A mince parcel? <laughs> That's hilarious. They're really delicious. Thanks, baby. Uh, what do you want us to do if you... Got any jobs? Oh, jobs, yeah. Wouldn't be Christmas without them, would it? I've still got a list as long as my arm, despite your mum having it all prepared by last January. <laughs> <laughs> Edith is the most organised woman you'll ever meet. I've met her four times. Yeah, I know, but I mean, in general, Christmas in this house is carried out with military precision. There's a very strict timetable. And we only go off the 24 hour clock. We don't eat at 1pm, we eat at 1300 hours. hours. <laughs> Oh, we better get a move on. Your mum's concerned there aren't enough carrots. That is concerning. I know, and we need to lay this table as well. Shay, I think that's a cold red situation. Crimson alert. Lock down the building, evacuate non-essential personnel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Caddy, why don't you peel the carrots and Matt? You and I can lay the table together. I'll get them for you, don't worry. Oh, so, Caddy, can we just... Move you over the air, is that alright? Um, sure, <laughs> of course. Couldn't find them. Hey Shays, Mum said anything about Dad. Well, as far as I'm concerned, he's recovering well, but you'll have to ask Dawn when she gets in. Where is she? Oh, sorry, yeah, I forgot to say. Dawn forgot the candy sauce, so I sent her out to get more, but that was, what, an hour ago, and she still isn't back. So I can only assume she's foraging through the hedgerows for the cranberries. She should be back between now and... The new year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good to see you. You too. You look really well. Do I? Don't feel it. Yeah, you look really, really well. Oh, you say the nicest things. <clears throat> oh, Carrie, so, um, this is your first Christmas together as a couple, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a big step, but we've been looking forward for it for ages, haven't we? Ah, oh, these side plates. Oh, that's a cheese plate. And enough about me. <laughs> what about you? You're not with your family, because you're here. Oh, I am. You are? Oh, my family is complicated. Your oh. parents are divorced. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, don't worry. It's not a sensitive subject. You know what they're like, don't you, Matt? They're certainly opinionated. Ever the diplomat. My parents are lawyers as well. They can negotiate with everyone but each other. Remember my wedding? Oh, of course I remember. So my mum actually interrupted the father of the bride's speech to say... Objection! Objection. <laughs> <laughs> he does the best impression of my mum. You'd have to know it to appreciate it, but it's spot on. You're wasted as a solicitor. You should be on stage. No, I shouldn't. I'll never forget your major general in the Pirates of Pendants. <laughs> you were fantastic. Thanks. Thank you. You say the nicest things. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, Carrie. We loved your TV show, the, the period drama. A Whisper of Autumn. A Whisper of Autumn, yeah, it was great. It was only a small part. It was a great part. You were an important part. Pivotal, actually. You were, you poisoned the Archduke. That was the scullery made. Oh, yeah, uh, but you, you... Uh, stole the letter. Stole the letter. And if you wouldn't have done that, well, it just wouldn't have made sense, would it? Well, I suppose you wouldn't have met the Countess. She was great, wasn't she? Oh, yeah. She's great. It's a great actress. Oh, she is brilliant. Well, that's a script. I had some pretty good lines, too. It's a timing, maybe, or an expression. Oh, she has a great face. Such a great face. It wasn't just his purse that was small, if you catch my meaning. <clears throat> oh, uh, oh, yeah, that was your line, wasn't it? Yeah, that was great. Well done. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thanks. So, uh, anything on the horizon for you, Cardi? Well, not at the moment, but it's perfectly normal to not have um, any work at the moment. Yeah, of course. So, Matt, I've been dying to know, did you get off the phone? Well, actually, I had an audition in New York. It was a complete disaster, but it's a funny story, isn't it? Hilarious. So, I was so jet-legged when I cut off the plane that I went to my audition in a complete daze, sat down, and when I got there, all the people looked at me with such a shocking expression, and I realised, hang on a minute, didn't take my coat off in the hall. Underneath my coat, I was wearing a tea dress with buttons up the front. Turns out, I had actually taken my dress off and hung it on the back of a chair. I was half naked in front of the entire production team. <laughs> Oh, Caddy, I'm sorry to laugh. He's supposed to laugh. It's funny. You really eating? It's funny. I would have had a complete sense of humour failure. <laughs> well, at least I was wearing a bra. <laughs> That's hilarious. She is hilarious. How will the pair of you ever get anything done? <sighs> With difficulty most of the time. <laughs> All hail the conquering hero. The hunter gatherer returns. There he is. There's my favourite brother. There's my only sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, <sighs> Wait a minute, who's this? What have you done with my brother? There's nothing left here, look here. Have you been working out? Mm, well, uh, I've been trying to eat healthily. I think you look great, Matt. You don't let this one go. Come here, gorgeous. Oh, happy Christmas. Oh, you look festive, am I? You look like the front window of Hamley's. Just the look I was going for. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Did you get the milk for Emma? Oh. So, the village supermarket was closed, but I went to the back of the village shop and I found this. Um, it's a bit dusty, but we can just wipe it off. It'll be fine. That's exactly what Matthew said to me the first time we made love. Sorry. <laughs> Too much. One thing you learn about this family, we have a good sense of humour. Dawn? Yeah? This was rice milk. I asked for goat's milk. Shay, it's Christmas Day. No one's selling rice milk. I'm lucky I found that. Why is Emma drinking goat's milk? We're limiting her diet intake so we can see if she has any allergies. No sugar, no gluten, no lactose. No fun. Yeah, but it's not about fun, is it? It's about health. <laughs> Sorry. Shay, goat's milk will be fine. No, goat's milk has lactose in it. Far less than cow's milk. Dawn, I've done my research. This mess up your microbiome or whatever, you know, your internal gut fauna. Flora. Flora, yeah. Whichever governs your immune system, it undoubtedly makes a difference. Well, I've been researching it too, and far many people drink goat's milk. It's only for one day, it'll be fine. Yeah, well, whatever. It's important not to get too pedantic about these things, isn't it? Thank you. So where's mum anyway? Still paying homage to the Sky Fairy? Oh, she should be about 10 minutes. Yeah, just enough time to get a cheeky log. I got some stashed in the secret box. Why is it a secret? Dad has a thing about lager. He's a real ale, my old dad. Ooh, put like the end. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want this one, Shay? Oh, no, you're all right. I don't want to end up in that situation where you've had far too many drinks on the table. You haven't even came off the oven yet. You'd never do that. I've been accused of doing that. Nonsense. Have this one. Oh no, you're all right. Actually, I haven't been drinking for a week now, and do you know what? I feel great. My skin's glowing. I'm sleeping better. I mean, yeah, I will have a wine or two with me dinner, but other than that, I'm not interested. Good for you. Yeah, I think I won't have this one too. Too many calories. Nah, I need the calories to keep me off them fags. You've quit? Mm, go back, yeah. One a day, two a day. It's easier than I thought. Wow, you guys. You're some making real changes. I'll drink to that. Cheers. So, uh, any news on Dad? Not much. Mum said he's recovering well, but he had a setback, whatever that means. He'll be fine. Our Dad's got the constitution of an ox. We can get through anything. Three days after the surgery, he was given the nurses lectures on the imperial measurements. He'll be giving orders to the funeral directors from inside the coffin. He'll be giving orders to our funeral directors from inside the grave. <laughs> be nice to have him back though, yeah. Oh, it'll be good to see him. Be nice having one big family again. Don't take that for granted, you know. 
You know, Dad's important when he says, family's not just an important thing, he's everything. Yeah, you're right. Family's the most important thing there is. So, how long are you guys staying? Uh, actually, we're planning on heading home this evening. Oh, why? Why so soon? Dawn and I agreed that Emma needs her own bed tonight. But Emma loves her, do you? She is right, Shay. We can take her up to Shepherd's Lookout tomorrow. Emma loves the view. Dawn, I really don't want to cause a disagreement. Then don't. Of course we'll stay. Dad will love it. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Shay? No. Fine by me. No objections at all. Hello?